Right guys, welcome back to Stealth Inc. 2, A Game of Clones. We have just completed World 4 Level 8, the final level in World 4, Lord of Darkness. Hopefully we will never have to use the Adventure Light again. We probably will, but I hope we don't. And we're going to go grab it because that is our next gadget. You got the Adventure Light. Let its bright warming light fill you with false hopes of freedom and a better life. That's not very nice. You found the exit. Do we really have to use it already? Right, we can't even get through there. Oh, there's a cutscene. All the little clones are getting locked up. Clobots. What on earth are Clobots? I, <laughs> I hate that light. <laughs> There's inflator, mate. Nice. We're now in the clone dungeon in the shaft. Right. We're all the way down here. Okay. Right, so... Let's just go exploring, see what we can find. I saw an outfit or something up there. There's one of them bombs. And I, I, dro I dropped straight onto it. Uh, we need inflator mate for this bit. What's that? Oh my god! I didn't think that was going to attack us. Can we jack him? Right, so we have to be pretty quick. Turn around. Turn around. We got him. We can't move him though. Oh, achievement, freedom fighter. Jack free a clobot from the PTI collective. Oh no, there's another one. They can't see us. I knew we was going to have to use the adventure light. I really didn't want to. Right, it's, I think it's going to be Jack Boy again. No, turn around the other way. Turn around. Right, we freed another one. We're in, we're in the scrapyard. What? We can play music. Right, that's actually quite irritating. What do we... Uh... 
No. We are so dead. Right, let's check the map. We need to go up. Could we check that? Would it really make a difference? I'm guessing not. I've just seen it. These little solar panel things. Why can we not blow them? I was going to say, why can't we blow them up? We need inflator, mate. No, there's no way we're dying. Go away. Go away. Surely that can't see us. There's one of them bloody things up there as well. There's no way we can... Ah, that's how you do it. Right, I'm not sure I want to go that way. I think we have to, though. Yeah, there's nothing that way. Um, Do we just make a run for it? Oh no, he's chasing us, he's chasing us. Are you... Are you for real? Right. We're back to here. Ah, right. Aha, right. Hopefully... We found it. Right, so after all that time trying to find the level, we finally found it. World 5, level 1 is called Reconstitution. First in the world has a time of 1 minute 34. Eighth has a time of 2 minutes 47. So I'm going to guess in between 4 and 4.5 four and minutes. Let's jump into this level. Me too. So what do I do? Wait, we've got our own little clone. Ugh. You can continuously kill it. Just spam your left trigger and it just... All them guts and stuff everywhere, that's horrible. Can we... <laughs> oh, you can actually do that. Alright. It's the only place it can go. We don't get any other gadgets. Right, so we die, we control this one. We have to throw him up there, obviously. Oh, wow. 
Right, so if we don't die, it's super, super confusing. Like, <laughs> really confusing using two. But I am liking this gadget. I'm already like preferring it over the adventure light, which was super, super, super annoying. What you have to do is you control both and you can kill one of them and then you control the other. It doesn't matter whether it's your main character or the clone. So if we walk into this, we're going to die. We're just controlling this guy. We can then throw it up there, clone him and hack that terminal. It is as simple as that. But now... I don't know what that's done. Uh, right, we have to... Right, we have to stand it. Kill ourselves. Right, we're back to this guy. So now... Right, making progress. Although, I don't really know what to do with this bit. Is that what we do? <gasps> yes! Right. Progress, terminal. Gotta love the terminals in this game. I don't know what to do. How do we do that? I'm guessing we just have to keep throwing clones. Right, so if we hack this, get him, kill ourselves quickly. No, oh, it's too far. You need to try and get it back in the middle. Right, we get it to that far side, hack the terminal, get him up. Um, get that, chuck that into the middle, get him, open, oh my god we've done it, right that's how you do it, I can't really explain it, but I'm sure you'd work it out from that anyway. So now, no the, the door. Right, it lets him drop straight through. <gasps> yes, right, we've done it. Right, through there. This is difficult. How do we... Okay, that worked. Oh, terminal! Right, it is a little bit confusing to get used to it. There's the exit door. There's, there's going to be a trap or something here. Oh, and how do we get... Right, let's get him ready. How do we... Is that a ledge? How? I don't get it. I do get it. So you don't even need to stay down there with him. You need to just keep a clone up top. Right, the test complete. I'm happy about it. I don't care on our rank. It's the first time I've ever used that gadget. I do like it. It is a little bit confusing, but obviously it's the first time I've used it. We've got to get a little bit used to it. 
We finished with a total time of 5 minutes 23 seconds. 2 minutes 40 was for a C. We got 12 deaths, 8 was for a C. And if we were spotted one time less, we would have got a C. Overall ranking D. I'm happy with that result. Only because it's the first time we've ever used that gadget. That is going to be the end of the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching.